Oh, is it patch time? All right, all right. Let, let me let me just stretch these legs real quick. All right, boy howdy everybody. This is Shane Emers here, and welcome to VR Chat 2022.1.1. No, there's no physics bones yet. That's still in the soon TM pile, and I'm ever saddened about that. Instead, we got a couple little things and one just absolutely insane thing that will change VR chat forever. And I absolutely 100% mean that. Let's start with the little things because we're going to spend way too much time in Insaneville if we start with the big stuff. The new tunneling movement feature is a nice bridge between the out of body experience of third person locomotion and potentially nauseating movement in first person. Tunneling keeps you in your head, but now casts a scalable vignette effect around your periphery to help keep your lunch in your stomach, if you have one of those. Uh, for new users and even some of the more sensitive experienced users whose VR legs need some fine tuning, uh, this is absolutely for you. If you have friends with peg legs instead of VR legs, so much so that they've stopped playing, well, now they can, so bring them back. Uh, a couple other notes. Uh, there's now a voice parameter for usage on avatars. Uh, now the avatar wearer can change their microphone amplitude from 0.0 to 1.0 because that's not going to be used for evil at all. They've also added a view profile button to friend request notifications, probably because it's a good idea to be reminded of who friended you the night before, you know, when you were plastered. This is why I keep telling you to drink responsibly and you never do. They've fixed an issue where the upper chest bone was not being networked properly, which, especially for full body users, could cause desynced poses when it was mapped. Uh, this has been why in any legit tutorial, you've been told to never ever bind an upper chest bone to anything. This fix is in here particularly because of a certain Twitter video we saw recently that I'll be showing the light of day soon. More info much sooner than later, I hope. They fixed an issue where some friends would be stuck online after they'd logged off, which I saw multiple times and confused me heavily, so I'm very glad this was fixed. The output log was being a naughty, naughty document and was sometimes affecting performance because it was being written to so much. So that's been heavily neutered. Ooh, poor thing. If you're having problems though, you can re-enable these logs and add some new ones by using the new dash dash enable verbose logging launch option to VRChat. A new experimental feature, uh, they've added the dash dash enable AV Pro in Proton launch option, which will allow Proton users, aka all you fancy Steam Deck people and, you know, you fancy Linux people, to re-enable AV Pro for video playback, but this may cause crashes, so you have been warned. Uh, fixed an issue where closing the stream camera would open the photo camera every bloody time. Thank you for that fix. And other than a keyboard and mouse user issue with the UI responding to mouse movements outside of the frame, some networking updates and crash fixes, uh, that's about it. So let's talk about the big kahuna. The one that's going to move mountains and dry oceans. Open Sound Control, or OSC. So OSC is a networking protocol for sending real-time data, typically for synthesizers and such, for musical performances or show control like lighting at a concert. Uh, VRChat has taken OSC and is using it as if the sound part didn't even exist. Instead, how it works is you can take data from outside of the program and pipe it into your VRChat avatar's animator. What this effectively means is as long as you can take a thing some input connected to your computer or on your computer, convert it into OSC and then pipe it into your animator using integers, booleans, or floating point numbers, you can have your avatar execute predefined things. For example, let's say you use a program to push your heart rate in real time from your Apple Watch or Fitbit to your computer, right? Then you can take that integer, say 35, that's a normal human heart rate, and pipe it into OSC. Now you can use your animator to, say, set a glow or emissive effect on your character to 35 pulses a minute. Now you have literally a part of you on your avatar. And that's just one example. Keyboard and mouse folks can utilize input from a webcam to turn your character left or right when you turn your head. Or face tracking with a HTC face tracker. Or you can have someone make you take off your jacket with a command on Twitch. Or yes, create a speech bubble for mute people. There's some other things you could do, but let's not get carried away. So that's OCS in a nutshell, and it's way beyond my level to explain how this works to you, but top men and women from the VR chat community have been all over this tack, tack, tech for the last couple weeks, and new stuff is spilling out every day. So I've said this many times, and it looks like people like 
from CNN haven't figured this out because they're living in the dark ages with Meta, but in VR chat, the sky continues to be practically the limit, and the sky just keeps getting bigger constantly. I said that with Avatars 3.0, where you can create nearly anything you can imagine and use it as an avatar, like giant millipede with individually articulating legs? Yeah. Beastkin with big tail and stomping hooves? Sure. Cyborg? Naturally. Stick of butter? Why not? Wolf boy? Not, not really original, but okay. Uh, and now with OSC, you can take the real world around you or the virtual world in your local computer, or input from friends or fans on a website, and import that data into you while you run around the actual metaverse. And that just unleashes another level of interactivity and uniqueness that makes you, you in VR chat. And it's really freaking cool, because even if you're raided by a bunch of Knuckles clones, they could all be individually different just because. I'm Shady Mirstier. Thanks for stopping in. Sub up and ring up like a boss. Join my Discord. We got cool people in there that actually help people out with problems. And we also got a cool little card game where you can collect little pictures of me. It's kind of fun. Uh, trade them around with your friends. Whatever. It's cool. I'll see your 35 beats per minute heart rate in VR chat. Peace out. Whoa, I'm going to fall over. Very pog. <laughs>